Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day, Brandy Evans and Nika Good Awning. Good morning. Good morning, Good ladies. Morning. Oh, I get, you're a guy. Nika, you're a guy? I'm a full man. I am a I'm, full I thank you so much. <laughs> they did not tell me. I love your name, Nika. That's a very nice name. Yeah, Nico Anin. Thank you. Nico Anning, thank you so very much for being here on the Valder BB show. Okay, so I am in a different studio. You guys know pandemic, it's kind of turned our lives upside down. So I'm going to go on what I know. If I can start with Brandy. Brandy, if you'll tell me about P Valley and what the P stands for. Ooh, you ready for this, girl? Okay. My, 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 my audience can take it. P Valley? stands for Pussy Valley, okay? It was a play that Katori Hall did years and years ago. She's been working on it for so long, and, and now it's come to TV. Thank you, God. And a fun fact about it, it actually is a neighborhood in Memphis, Tennessee, where both Katori and I are from. So Pussy Valley, P Valley, okay? Here we are. And it's going to be a, a breakdown of what's going on in this, in this world with these ladies beyond the pole, beyond their bodies. So you're going to be able to see their heart. It's it, tackling the LGBT community and the relationships that you are have, that you have in the black community. So it's just, it's a whole pot of gumbo, as I like to say, because we're mixing it up. You're going to learn about the Mexican culture and, and what's going on in their world. And it's not, it, we do have majority black cast members, but it's not just all black, okay? Katori has a plethora of diversity within this show. I like that. Thank you for that explanation. Okay, Nika, tell me your role in this. Uh, I play Uncle Clifford, and Uncle Clifford is the owner of The Pank, and The Pank is the club in which we see uh, in P Valley, where we meet all of these characters. It's kind of like the hub and the heartbeat of uh, the world. And Uncle Clifford is a beautiful, Black, non-binary queer who identifies with the pronouns she and her. So... Um, this is, I think the show really has a lot to do with lineage and heritage because the club itself, it is more than just a club. It is a, an inherited piece of property that once was a juke joint, that prior to that, it was a cotton mill. So it's something that has been passed down over the generations. And just like the women and the people in this world in P-Valley, we are way more than what you think. So you can see the pink in the daytime, and it can look very garsh and, and, and green. The, the, the walls, the, the open windows when the sunlight is coming through, and it looks more like that factory that it used to two or three generations ago. But in the evening, when the sun goes down, the moonlight comes through, and it becomes a whole oasis of all of these beautiful women and, and men and just of life and vibrancy. So the show has a whole lot of vibrance, um, I think it's like a cinematic documentation of like what it's like to be black. Okay. Nika, before I go back to Brandy, tell me what non-binary means so I can be clear and my audience can be clear. Non-binary, meaning that you do not necessarily identify with one, only one or the other. It's a combination. So it's as if you could accept yourself for your full masculinity and your full femininity and walk in that truth. However you are feeling today, whether that's a pair of heels or whether that's a pair of sneakers, whether that is a, a purple wig or if that is a fade with some designs in your in cut in your head, it, it's it's a level of expression. It, it, you are not beholden to one or the other. It's literally how you feel every day. Thank you so much for that explanation. Brandy, you talk about the women that are going to be in this. With what's going on in our society right now, do you see any any liberation for them coming, or do they not to be need not be liberated? Um, look, I mean, absolutely. I feel like this is a, an amazing moment for people to see that you shouldn't be judging books by their covers, okay? Because these ladies, just like you, who might be a school a school teacher, a news anchor. You have other dreams, too, and these ladies have other dreams. So this is a moment for the world to stop and peel back that book cover, just like we need to be doing right now in the world in general, and getting to know these people, what's going on in their mind, what's going on in their heart, what do they truly believe in, what are their dreams and aspirations, because it goes well beyond the pole and well beyond their bodies, and that just makes it amazing 
that we had eight female directors, uh, a, a showrunner that is a female director, line producer, women all over the place. So this is a moment where we're going, hey, look at us because we can do the same thing that these men can do. And honestly, all we ever needed was the opportunity. So give us the opportunity and we will crush it the same, if not better than the men. I said it. Well, I love your strong personality. <laughs> Brandy, P Valley on Stars, when do you guys want us to watch? Because this seems so fascinating. It's everything. Oh we will premiere July 12th. July 12th, after the uh, season finale of our sister show, High Town. And then after that, it moves to 8 p.m. every Sunday. Mm -hmm. You come in, get your life, you know, and open and up your ears. Know. Go ahead. I was just going to say, open up your ears and open up show. your heart. Yes. This is not the show where you go in the kitchen and cook, okay? This is not the show no, where no, you no, pull no. out your laptop and you're like, I'm going to look up and down. You're going to miss something, okay? You have to completely lock down the same way y'all lock down on Game of Thrones, lock down on P-Valley. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be there, and I can't wait till you guys come back because I'm sure you'll get a new season. So please come back to the thank Valder you. BB Show. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for having us. We'll see you on You're Sunday. welcome. Be well, be healthy. All right, you too. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>